Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Wednesday, July 8th, 2020, and I'm just gonna speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. If you wanna follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. All right, let's solve this puzzle. Oh, there's a note in this, so let's read this. In the print version of this puzzle, three clues are rendered in ways the software cannot reproduce, as follows. So the clue for 20 across is in italics. The clue for 42 across has a thin line through it, and the clue for 56 across is in heavy black type. Interesting. Okay, so some of the clues are in various different um, prints. All right, let's see how this uh, comes up in the puzzle. Shoe company with a fish name. Huh, I really don't know what that is. Sets of math. Maybe these are foci? A uh, neck warmer. I kind of want to say Aska. Oh no, it's a scarf. That makes a lot more sense. It's obviously a scarf. That's an aorta. Okay, land between the Caspian Seas. That Iran singer O'Connor. I think that's Sinead O'Connor. What's this? Oh, Bass is the name of a shoe company? I'm not sure I knew that. I know Bass Ale. Okay, Pure Joy. Oh no, B doesn't. What's going on here? Something. Oh, maybe it's Loci and it's Bliss. That. Okay, good. Whew. Word from Swahili for journey. Safari. I did not know that was a Swahili word. Nice uh, trivia clue. Spanish ladies. These are senoras, probably. Uh, curses. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, so this is one of those special ones. I think having a meal is in italics, we were told. Yes. So having a meal is in italics. Stress something. So when something's in italics, it's stressed, maybe? So maybe that's what's going on. I'm still not exactly sure. Stress eating, maybe? I think I, I think I kind of get it. Italics are stressed type, and so this is stress eating when it's having a meal in italics. All right, let's see. Let's see where this goes. Uh, best new age. Enya is the new age artist that shows up in crossword puzzles. Florida State athlete. Ugh, I don't know my athletes. Bumbling. Um, probably inept. What's this? Bombards, pelts, good. Okay, have a taste. Try it. I like that. Uh, with sleight of hand, say. Maybe slyly or probably um, some cartridge filler. That's going to be a toner. What is a knoll? Is that what it is? Piece of cake. It's simple. Good. Okay. Uh, dams. Should have seen that before. I actually kind of want to go up here and just polish off this section. Glue or a rhyme for glue? Uh, what is that? It rhymes with glue and it means glue? What is it? I'm curious. Is that so? Is that what? Aussie Hopper. That's a roo, a kangaroo. Hot Rod Race. I feel like that's like an indie, like the Indy 500 or something. Hershey. That's a Rolo. Those things are delicious. Is that all? Makes sense. Devil May Care Attitude in Modern <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> YOLO is still fun, I gotta be honest. Uh, glue or rhyme for glue? Oh, goo. That's an interesting clue for glue. And it's very confusing that clue also rhymes with glue. I'm gonna move on. Uh, hot Rod Race. Is that um, drag racing, textiles, and... S let's see, this is... Dry goods? Maybe? Okay. Mardi Gras, that is New Orleans, which I think is NOLA. Okay, go as far down as, um, stoop to, Oof. All right, Sophia Loren, I know her. Um, about to go under the knife in brief. Is that, um, like, pre-op, like, before an operation? Aching is sore, okay, so it's pre-op. About to go under the knife, bit of butter, that's a pad of butter. Uh, or no, it's a pat of butter. I always get those mixed up. Um, tetra is four. Okay, so what's this? Wow, military trainees, and it's all spaced out. And what is the... Oh, oh, so this one can't be rendered, but it's spaced out. And this is going to be space cadets. Nice, okay, so... Um, I'll, I'll talk about the theme after, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. I get it. All right, Simba's mate. That's Nala. Um, who's this? I should probably know that. Range. Uh, what is that? Those. Probably Essos. Uh, business sign abbreviation. I'm not sure. Um, okay, what's this? Downward dog. Is this one of those special ones? It's a th There's a thin line to it. 
Um, I probably don't have enough. I kind of wanted to see if I could get it with very little. It's a line through it, so it's like crossed out. Strike, maybe? Strike a pose, yeah. Nice, I love being able to get long answers with very few letters. Thank you, theme, for helping me do that. Pugilist's goal, um, I'm not sure. All right, let's do this little guy. Landmark, Supreme Court case, nah, I need more. It's probably a V in the middle. Martini and, okay, what's this? Uh, chose, that's voted. And then this is some English nobles are what? Um, hmm, I should probably know this person. I should definitely know this person, but I don't think I do. Historic 1965, March location. Okay, so that's Selma. <laughs> Um, and then a lot of uh, proper nouns in this section, which are always a little tough. Seems about right. I'd say so, maybe? I think that might work. K.O. Huh. Not a big fan. Usually you see K.O. like uh, the initials K.O. or T.K.O. for like, I think that stands for total knockout. Never really seen K.O. spelled out this way. One, I could be wrong, this might not be the right entry. If I am right, um, it's not my favorite thing, but maybe this is like how boxers and, and uh, fight, professional fighters actually spell it. Um, I don't know much about that sport. Vegetable in succotash, a lima bean, nice. Okay, ending with four or six, but not three or five. It's a curious clue, but I think I need, oh, probably teens, 14 and 16, but not three teen or five teen, nice. Concern when buying shoes, that's gonna be a fit. Retail giant, it's gotta be Ikea. I don't even wanna read the rest of the clue. Where a long drive often starts, that's the T. Okay, great. So what is going on here? Something, this is Earl's, good. And then, um, I still don't know this. Landmark Supreme Court case informally. Huh. Martini and, I it's a little strange because this looks like it wants to be a vowel. From this, from 32 down, looks like 30. The square that has a 38 in it has to be a vowel. But I don't see how this doesn't look like a name if it is a vowel. So I'm a little confused about what's happening here. And shame on me for not knowing this name. But I almost want to put Rosy here. Uh. Maybe it's, is Earl's wrong? Not sure, all right. Let's uh, leave that blank for now and come back later. Uh, range, maybe a scope? It could also, I feel like it could also be scape though, huh? Strange how both of those feel right to me. All right, let's go here. Uh, what's this, classic theater, come on. Um, that is Pico de Gallo. Let's see what this is. Will you marry me? And again, this is in heavy black type. So this is bold proposal, maybe? Cool. All right, thunder. Maybe roar, sound of disgust. Maybe a snort? I'm not sure I exactly think that's disgust, though. Words, that's gonna be vocab. These are slobs. Uh, language quintet, it's A-E-I-O-U, nice. Okay, make something seem less likely to be true is cast doubt, I like that entry. Uh, that's estimated, I think. But historical figure played by Kurt Russell is maybe, huh, what is this? Oh, established, and this is ERP, maybe? Providers of some comic relief. Are they drones? Uh, some diners, those are booths, good. Okay, haze. Now something's wrong here, because NS doesn't make sense. Word on a deli scale. What is that? In great shape is hail. Okay, shoe is um, Scram or something. Girl in the Our Gang movies, Wintry Mix. That should be Sleet. Shoe, that's Scat. This is probably Isaac. Oh, it's Droids. Why are I, I knew it was, I was thinking about Droids when I wrote in Drones. That was just a total lapse on my part. It was obviously Droids. Okay, Isaac, and then Word on a Deli Scale is, um, what is this word? What, what am I not seeing? Uh, oh, Tear. 
That was tough for me for some reason. Okay, good. So let's clean up the rest of this. What's this? Um, this puzzle is embarrassing me for my lack of knowledge of some proper nouns. So range, scope, or scape? I feel like scope works better. And then this is, uh, so strike a Selma and I'd say so, I think are right. This is, so the V is for versus, landmark Supreme Court case. I want it to be like Roe v. Wade, but I don't see what this would be then. I feel like this is Earl's, and then I just don't know who, what the first initial should be here. So normally I would uh, search, soul search a little while for this and hunt around for errors, but um, with a mind toward people watching, I'm just gonna first check if I have any errors in this grid. I do, oh, voted is wrong. Ah, man, you know, when, Lesson to me and to anyone watching, when you're struggling with a section, don't just assume that everything around there is correct. I checked the crosses in this way, but I did not check voted. I just so thought that it was correct, especially since I'd had the V in here and I thought that like that couldn't be removed, but it's opted, which makes this a lot more sense. So maybe it's just Roe for Roe v. Wade and my and Opal is a name and my initial instinct for us, it was correct. All right, I wish I had discovered that on my own, but um, that was our puzzle. So this one had a very nice theme. Um, I, it's not a type of theme you see very often. I like when um, the just the way the clue is written has uh, something to do with how it should be put into the grid. I'm not sure I've ever seen something quite like this where we use things like bold and italics um, and, and the strike through to determine, to like, um, I don't know, be re take normal phrases and reinterpret them uh, based on based on how the actual clue is written. So that's neat. Just the, like the typographical details of the, the letters are being rel used here. And I think that's a cool um, like extra dimension. Uh, you know, it was taken away slightly by the fact that I'm solving this on digital. And so most of the only clue that actually had that effect for me was military trainees, you know, and there's something fun when you can actually see that difference. And when you write in space cadets and you just see the interpretation of uh, these are cadets, but they're space out whereas I didn't get that experience on stress eating and strike a pose and bold proposal but um you know that's on me for not solving in the paper like uh, this puzzle is meant to be solved I'd also say all of these theme entries are uh, are good I mean you want your theme set to not just like um, fit some you know uh, curiosity in the language like these do, but you also want them to be interesting crossword entries in their own right. And these are, especially stress eating is a great phrase. Um, and I also like, I mean, space cadets, uh, strike a pose and bold proposal may be a little less exciting, but still totally valid, like things that I'd be excited to uncover in a themeless puzzle. Uh, my one tiny little nit is that um, strike a pose just seems a little bit different from the others in that if you strictly stick to the pattern of, okay, um, having a meal is written in stressed, uh, like with italics, so those are stressed, so it's stress eating. These, these have spaces, so it's space cadets. So why is this strike a pose instead of just like strike pose? Or I'm sure there are lots of phrases that just start with strike. Um, Again, that's a tiny little consistency thing, and you know, as someone who makes crossword puzzles, sometimes if you, if you just find something that has the right number of letters, you use it, especially if it's a a good phrase on its own. So, I mean, I can forgive these things. I just have to point them out when I see them. I thought the fill on this was mixed. Uh, so some of the the bonuses um, they were interesting enough. I mean, uh, I like it's simple. I like cast doubt. I even like lima bean. There's something kind of fun about that. Dry goods is a little uh, dry. Um, just kind of I don't know. Just a technical industry term. Um, not something that is uh, super exciting to find in a crossword puzzle. And I was just a little disappointed that um, the rest of the fill wasn't a as clean as I might have liked, so I'm looking around and there's just a bunch of kind of icky, so, okay, this corner was my fault. I, I think I should definitely know who this person is, and um, I'm super glad that a crossword taught me who this person is. That's I love learning from crosswords, um, and I think if I knew this person, this rest of this section, I would have caught the voted error early and the rest of the section would have fallen, so I'm not actually complaining about this section. But there are things like we see uh, KO, we have Essos, we have Noel and Nola and Nala. That's a little too much in one puzzle, plus like the partial on Senoras. Not partial, I mean uh, abbreviation. 
along with the abbreviation on Estab. I don't know, I just felt like this thing could have been smoothed out a little more. Odeon is kind of an old-timey word. Um, so I, I might have, especially since, what, I think there are only four themers in this, so this shouldn't have been a super demanding theme, and it looks like um, it's a pretty high word count puzzle. There are a lot of black squares, so I think I would have liked to see this smoothed out a little bit more. Um, so I guess my, I think the theme is original and uh, very enjoyable. Um, could have even, even run on a Tuesday, honestly. But the fill I might have reworked because uh, for, for these this many compromises, again, like thinking of this Noel, Nala, and Nola all in one grid, um, none of those on their own is a great crossword entry. Uh, but all of them packed together in a small section, um, not so great. And for that, I would like in return just things that really are exciting, really pop. But all of these, you know, um, instead we get dry goods and, and it's simple, which are, you know, it's simple, like I said, and cast doubt and lima bean, they're nice, but it, I don't think they're worth the compromises in this particular case. It's interesting to notice that with different constructors you get different types of clues. I mean, the, the clues are often um, how, where the voice of the constructor can really shine through. I mean, we know that the editors change a lot of the clues, uh, but but, but uh, not all of them, and and this is where I, I kind of noticed that w this puzzle seemed to like trivia type clues, um, and those aren't always my favorite, but this time it actually taught me a lot of interesting facts. So I'm thinking, for example, I didn't know that Safari was a Swahili word. I'm happy to learn that. Um, I'm super happy to learn who Opal Tometi is. I didn't know there was a shoe company called Bass, um, so it, it's interesting that um, my guess is that this constructor leaned toward these kinds of um, fact-based clues, and there's nothing wrong with that, especially I, I, I enjoyed these. So I think that's all I'm going to say about this one. Uh, I'm going to be recording these real-time crossword solves every Monday through Thursday for now. If you want to keep up with them, then clicking the red subscribe button beneath the video is a great way to do that. I also make uh, other puzzle-related videos, so chess puzzles, speed-solving crossword puzzles, and uh, logic puzzles, things like that. So, thank you so much for watching.